Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to the boat gang. All right, we got the SPX Tunnel Hole. This is a Dr. Jet Micro. All right, uh, this little wooden tunnel hole comes as a kit. Uh, he's actually working on finalizing the design. This is a prototype. He sent me to do some beta testing. This little outboard motor right here is going to basically be directly bolted on this he sent some transom plates to uh, adjust the motor we're gonna have to pick out some electronics so it's gonna be a tough little build you know big boats you got plenty of room to put electronics this thing right here you're gonna have to thoughtfully ever so thoughtfully choose where and what you put in this little bad boy so uh, I'm gonna get it disassembled laid out so you guys can see what we have and then I'll start the build process all right let's get it let's get it Alright, so I got everything disassembled. Alright, just wanted to show you guys what it looked like before I got started. Okay, um, you got your just your, your platform. Alright, it's got these little tabs that come off and your stringers get slid into those tabs. Okay, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You slide it all the way up to the, the, the deck. Alright, slide it all the way up to the deck, glue it in place. Boom. Alright, then you have these numbered bulkheads ribs all right these actually go in here just like that butted right up against your your stringer okay um and then you put your cockpit on <laughs> it's pretty freaking simple uh I, when i got this kit this guy right here was broken completely off and this one so doc if you're watching this uh just maybe a little bit wider box my box was damaged from shipping so that's kind of the reason why I'm getting a late start on it I seen that and I was like uh, uh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying so I got my little box of scraps that we may need to use for this and that I got some basswood here some real thin basswood we're going to use for the ride surface we're going to need to take a trip to Hobby Lobby pick up some balsa wood to skin the sponsons with I don't have any long enough uh, this is for the cockpit this is basically going to go right there like you guys seen pretty simple uh, we're going to need to modify the motor mount and fill in these holes right here before we install it because I'm going to go with probably going to run this outrunner motor all right this is a 2100 kV 2830 I think um, I got two different style mounts for that motor all right I'm thinking I can use this mount right here okay you see where those nipples are I can cut those nipples off put a little angled wedge of wood in here okay set my angle and then through bolt this motor mount from the bottom okay with some four millimeter short screws through bolt it from the bottom all right then I could take my motor out the top pull it out or I can just unscrew the two screws on the bottom pull my motor mount out all right it's going it's actually a really lightweight motor compared to like the Aquacraft Mini Mono motor, it's lightweight. It's a lightweight motor, super right. light. Uh, you got your servo mount, your, the front of your cockpit, which you have to completely custom make, make it your own. These are shims for trimming the motor. We're going to grind some angles on these shims so we can get some positive and negative angle if needed. And the motor mount Dr. Jet recommends is a drone a little aluminum drone motor mount we're not going to go that route so I'm not going to use this okay nut plates for the motor make it easy to tune let's get it I'm going to glue everything together with some thin CA I'll show you what it looks like when I get to the next step so I have removed the dummy outboard the strutter strut rudder dummy outboard motor from the Miskaiko and I stripped everything out that boat I took the ESC motor receiver everything out and um i'll probably just give it to my son to play with in the bathtub fill in a couple holes for him boom he has a little play toy um if i decide to do something with it later on of course it'll be laying around and i can play with it later on but for now we're going to use the dummy outboard motor for the spx tunnel hole okay i got some plans for this all right i um, want to show you guys the the hole so far i got everything glued up all right, it was actually pretty simple, uh, very simple actually. Um, I'm gonna start skinning it in the next video. I'm gonna go ahead and call this video because um, I wanted to have something out for you guys today. I filled the holes for the motor mount, filled the holes for the servo mount, 
and for the outboard motor okay I'm going to basically start from scratch you guys can build it to spec if you want I not not me okay so my dummy outboard motor all right I'm basically going to take a piece of this uh, angle metal I'm going to cut it cut it in half long ways cut it to size and cut this mount right here off drill a hole right here right here okay and elongate the bottom hole on my new mount and we'll have positive and negative trim and then we can slide the motor up and down okay that's just me you can do it however you want dr jet has everything laid out for you guys and will have everything laid out uh when he finalizes the kit okay so uh, that's what we're going to do in the next one all right uh as for motor um i think i'm going to use the the motor out the miss geico you may be able to use everything out the miss geico for this boat i think the 30 fits in here the motor fits in there it's tight it's tight there's about four millimeters two millimeters on each side but it will fit um the stock motor mount that comes with this motor will not work okay it looks something like that okay i'm actually using this bancroft motor mount here's your part number if you're interested okay what i did was i removed the the water cooling nipples off the bottom of the motor mount i cut the tabs off right here I had a couple tabs on there i cut those tabs off and we're going to use a three millimeter screw in the bottom I'll probably cut it to size, or yeah, I, I'll cut it to size. I ain't gonna buy a special freaking screw just for this. I'll just cut it. And uh, what I'm gonna do is put a little angled piece of carbon fiber right here. Okay, boom. Just have a little angled piece of carbon fiber in there. Boom. That should work. All right. Uh, I guess. Well, I guess I could, instead of putting a piece of carbon fiber in there, I guess I could file the angle on, on this mount just file the angle and put a flat piece of carbon fiber in so I have something to screw to and uh that would probably do it either way I'm using this motor 2100 kV okay it's a 3s motor but I think this boat's small enough light enough the propeller is going to be small enough that we can run it on 4s 2s 2s 70c 450s okay uh, I got this 30 amp hobby king all right, gonna put a series connection on it, shorten up all the wires, shorten up these wires because um, they're actually kind of tethered there. So we're gonna shorten them up so everything fits right later on once we get farther into the build. Uh, the servo, Dr. Jet has this pretty cool little servo mount that he's got going on and I like it. I'll probably go with it. Um, I really wish I could get away with mounting this servo straight up and down. I don't think I will be able to. Just the way the motor, the height of the motor is going to be. Um, I could maybe, maybe, because I'm running my connectors on top. Possibly, possibly run it like this. Okay, if I make my, my, my cowling high enough, I'm gonna have clearance here, okay? If I got, I gotta make kind of a kind, kind of a hollow high cowling, I will, okay? But um, I'm doing it the way I want to do it. I'm gonna run that little hobby king right there. I don't know if I mentioned that, but uh, the weight of this motor, it's not too heavy. It's 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 kind of heavy. It's kind of heavy. Doctor Jet's gonna be run. I think he's running these little 20, 30, or 20, 40s. I don't know. Um, these motors are 46 grams with the mount the epoxy the screws the hardware and the aluminum for the drone motor mount um I, I would imagine i would imagine it's probably around 55 grams at least uh this guy right here 60 uh, and all i have to do i might even file this i might file that angle so i don't have to put any extra weight in it yeah and that would actually make it lower i think i'll put it on my grinder my belt sander and get that angle right reduce them to weight so it's not that much heavier 60 grams maybe 8 or 10 grams heavier than Dr. Jet set up with the uh, drone what not <laughs> the Oxteen 40 is also 4S capable I forgot about that yeah 4S right there booyah <laughs> so it actually fits it's much thinner than that 30 hobby king 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. So we might just be borrowing the 40 out the little oxy digger. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a quick little video. I did a lot of jaw jacking, jacking my jaws. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Big B, Ryan Clutter RC.